Hello, hello, Taurus, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is June 18th, and we are going to be looking into what it is that you need to focus on. Love, money. We're going to look at a little bit of everything. I want to thank all of the brand new subscribers for jumping aboard. I thank you for coming and spending this time with me. Please subscribe to the channel. I bring you messages every day because I feel that people need guidance every day. Even if it's a little tiny bit, it can spruce up somebody's day. These universal energies. Please open up the passages for messages to come through. Some of you have actually run around the world. You're celebrating a brand new beginning. For those of you who've done the work, I keep saying this, you are starting a brand new beginning in love. You're being given the world. There's a cycle that you have completed. The problem is I don't, I don't, oh boy. All right, listen, I'm going to try to remove. Did you see that? need to go get that. I'm going to let you know right now, this is not, this is a sad reading. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. Please universal energy, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please bring forward any messages that want to come through. That want to come through. Yeah, I don't... Wow, you started off the reading. You started off the reading. Oh, shoot. All right, that's the last card, the one that fell on the floor. Give me a minute. Of course, it's got to be the pentacle, the knight of pentacles. All right, listen, I'm going to I'm going to run these by you real quick. Um, you open up the reading wanting and desiring and working for an ace of cups, which is you're looking for a love connection. You're looking for something that is finally going to bring you in some joy. This is going to bring you in. This is the beginning of new love. Something recently changed in your life. You completed a chapter in your life and now it's time to go forward. Some of you completed the chapter. However, this is where the shit gets fucked up. A lot of you, you know, this is not a bad card. However, this is you celebrating that little milestone. However, there is a heartbreak here. There is a, a really bad heartbreak and you're taking a break. You are looking for bed rest because of something that might have happened. You also have the four of wands. So you got the four of cups and the four of wands. I want you to see this. This is feeling withdrawn. This is feeling sad. It is probably thinking about, you know, it is thinking about just things that you don't really, oh God, this is, this, you know what? Give me a minute. This reading is like all over the place. I'm going to let you know right now, some of you are dealing with the devil energy. And this devil energy is going, you know, you want to offer something to someone, but guess what? Every time that you offer something to this person, you reduce the you how can I say this? You reduce your own quality, like in the things that you deserve. You know, this is a devil energy. This is a person outside, external from you. This person is evil. This is a karmic relationship, and it looks like you just cannot see that. And listen, destiny is here to change your direction. You know, you already have an ace. You started out with the ace. There's not a lot of major arcanas here. You only got three. 
you also have the knight of pentacles listen it's it's gonna take you a long fucking time to decide something it's taking you forever to make that one final decision we're gonna clarify why is the devil here all right you're resting again this is a knight so you got a knight of pentacles the knight of cups again immature energy you're gonna rest from this person you are exhausted this is like coming back from war you know this person always has you stuck in a pickle why is the three of swords here the knight the knight of wands i'm gonna let you know right now if you have left someone in the past they're gonna come in all fucking crazy and fired up you know this was something that broke your heart this could have been an also another person although i don't see that here yet i do see two knights you know so if you're dealing with two young people yeah, you're putting your burdens down. You're tired. And listen, you got a strength. This is putting your burdens down. And finally, look at how the yellow is here. This is the sun. The sun will shine once you remove yourself from this devil energy. You know, this is you putting down your burdens. This is you not being able to hold this relationship by yourself anymore. The devil energy doesn't bring anything good. I'm going to let you know right now, you know, she can be, you know, he or she, I say it, whichever, you know, they can be, they can show you something that they are, but they're really not, you know, and it seems like you are, I just have a feeling that you are stuck in this and you don't know how to remove yourself. And this is burdening the hell out of you. This is not living, you know, it's taking every strength of you to keep this relationship together. Why is the Three of Swords here? Give me one more time. Why is the Three of Swords here? So something's got you heartbroken. I think something got you heartbroken because you decided to put your burdens down. And when you put the burdens down, it basically means that you need the strength to move forward. Why is the Three of Okay. We have one more. Okay, listen. The, if this was a three-party relationship or if you were dealing with the demon, with the devil energy, you are taking a leap of faith. You are moving away from this. You have decided to move away from this. However, this person is going to come in arguing and fighting and looking, offering you something brand new. Oh my God, you know, I can, I can offer you something. Let's work on this. Listen, when you have this much burdens in your back, some people don't want to work on things, you know? And there's an ace waiting for you, an ace of cups, a new beginning in love. However, it doesn't come to you because the universe sees that you are not ready to accept it you have the ten of swords whatever it was it came to an end it is time to say goodbye it is time to close the chapter it is time you also have here the prince of chalices this is a person who is very immature she is only a page you know this is a dreamer this is somebody who dreams about things who doesn't really put too much action in it and again you got the three of swords so now you got the three of swords twice, which kind of confirms to me that this there is a three-party situation, you know? There's more than two people in this mix. Someone's going to be left out in the cold. You're looking for your two of cups. Taurus, you are looking for your two of cups. Look at it here, an ace of cups. It's a brand new beginning in love. You're not going to get it if you are stuck in this bad energy. Queen of Pentacles. This woman may be a woman of money. She may be the one who is keeping you strong. She could be loving and affectionate. However, she just thinks about her pentacles. And perhaps this is the woman that is trying to buy you out. You're going to leave somebody out in the cold. And it's really going to make you sad and you're really going to be heartbroken, but you're going to leave somebody out in the cold. Oh, boy. Why is the three of swords here twice? 
Why is the Three of Swords here twice? I have a feeling that while you were trying to invest in this, it's heartbreaking for you. You know, look, there's another man here. For some of you, listen, I'm going to be very honest with you. For those of you who are in a relationship, there could be another man or another woman in this relationship. Please don't go saying Mia said, you know, that you have another woman or another man. It doesn't work that way. If you know about this or you suspect that this is your story because you resonate with it, chances are there are multiple people here. You know, this person is doing you dirty through the back and I don't even think that you realize it, right? Realizing it. You know, destiny is here to change your direction. Why is the destiny here? All right, listen, you're walking away. You're feeling like you have been defeated, like this relationship has just fucking taken everything out of you. And listen, you got the Ten of Swords. So you got the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. You're constantly having to defend yourself against this person. It is time. The time is here. The time is here to change your destiny. The time is here to finally take that leap of faith and move along. The time is here because this relationship has come to a grueling end. It is the end. This is backstab. This is betrayed, being left for dead. This is the ending. However, listen, when you get rid of this, you have a lot of new beginnings here. You have an ace of love, two ace, you know, an ace and the two of cups. You also have the fool and you also have the destiny. Get away from this devil energy if you know it. You also have here the wheel of fortune. Listen, things are happening for you. Congratulations. Keep moving forward. Don't stop and look back. Have a great day and take care.